Hi everyone, this is Mohit and welcome back to Engineer Stick Up channel. So in this video, we will discuss some more interview questions for the SEL. And this is again the latest question. And we have someone has said me, my student is attending the interview. They have said me. So let's move in the first question. Give me one second. Okay, so first question is, uh, tell me about your uh, self working experience, relevant experience, a uh, skill, roles and responsibility. So if you will attend any interview, the first question is always tell me about yourself. Okay, so this uh, this interviewer is already asked this point they have mentioned, if they will not ask you also, they will only ask, can you tell me about yourself so you can tell your name your current organization your relevant experience your skill set is very important so your skill set is completely you know you have to mention whatever your profile it must be matched with your skill set because you see they have shortlisted your resume because your a skill set and company requirement is matching right so that is very important you have to highlight and whatever your uh you know strong topics are there strong or uh, strong parts are there you can just highlight here and definitely the interviewer will try to pick that part and they will ask you the questions okay your current project so your current project you have to tell here uh you know uh, like your domain whatever the domain and models you have worked then you have to tell uh, here your bit you have to explore the framework your roles and responsibility whatever the part of there and you have to also explain bit your day-to-day know, -day activity what you are doing as per your daily purpose so that is very important second question is write a program uh, you know to read the data from the properties file so let me explain you this code and you guys can execute this code if you did not execute any time okay so actually uh, i did not executing this code you guys can execute you can type this all the code and your system because our video timing will increase so my target is the less time i can give you the more questions and you know i can explain well so you guys are able to understand the concept and you can able to write the code so here the question is write a program to read the data from the properties file so I have made one functionality you can see here we are passing parameter as a file type and a string is your key and just define the string value as a null. So again here file you can see I have created the file object and this is the location of the file. Okay, this is the location of the file. Then I have created the object of file input a stream. Then here this reference we have passed here okay because the file class we cannot read the data directly then we have to take the help from the file input a stream then be having the uh, be having the uh, properties class in java so properties call be properties class we have made the object of the properties class here you can see and now we have a, inside this properties file we have a load method okay so we are loading here this properties file and in this value we are getting the key okay so you can see this functionality i have developed but how to execute this code so how to create a properties file so you have to use your dot properties file extension and when you will define the value inside this properties file it will be a key value pair okay and see how this uh, code i am using this method i will call here you can see we having the one class get driver i call this method here and we have a get driver sorry get data is your class and we are calling this method properties file so here what we have to pass here you have to pass file name and you have to pass key okay you can see here file name is here config okay so uh, in the eclipse we have made one you know you can see your file name is your config config dot properties file and here browser is your key so this value we are reading from here so this is how you can write the properties file how to read the data from the properties file you have to write the code you have to execute the code and you can explain how i have explained second question is write a program to launch ie driver 
IE browser. Okay, you can see we having the IE, IE Internet Explorer browser. So again, this is the very simple. If you are uh, learning Selenium, it should it must you have. So here, uh, I'm not going to tell you guys how to download this exe file and all. If you don't know how to do that, please uh, refer my previous. Uh, playlist i have already made uh, many video on the java selenium so you can just refer that so here you can see here we have a system dot set property here you have to pass the exe driver path so system is a class and set property is your method system class is coming from java library and set property is also coming from system class so here you have to pass it will accept key and it will accept value Okay, so key here we are passing web driver dot i dot driver. Okay, so when you are launching the i driver, then here we are passing the key web driver dot i dot driver, and here we are passing the location of exe file. Then after that we can we have a web driver and driver equal to Internet Explorer. So web driver is your super uh, sorry interface and we are holding the Internet Explorer or you can log or you can launch anything. So here you have to take care of this two line of the code system is a class and set properties is your method and we are passing key value pair key is your key we can pass here web driver dot i dot driver on value we can pass the exe uh, path. So you have to download this exe path from the Selenium library and now you have to create an object of internet explode driver this is the another interview code uh, interview question third question is write a program to count duplicate character in a string using collection so this guys this is the very important question and many company they have asked you and i have already made this playlist so let me show you this playlist guys okay so you can practically how you can do the practice you can just go in my engineer stack up channel okay inside this engineer stack up channel you can go in this playlist in this playlist you will get this programming interview question and answers so still i am working but you will get the 10 code and this code i have already explained the practical as well okay okay you can see so you can just follow this video if you're not able to understand practical you can do the practice for the same but i will just give you the overview of this ppt okay so here this is the very simple code okay how we have to develop this created an object sorry created one uh, okay we are writing uh, directly here no problem see i have created one method here passing parameter as a string type created and the hash code sorry hash map object right this has map object this a string type we have converted into the char array so this is your character char type of an array here we are using each for loop so each for loop will what i can do each character we can iterate here if you are not able to understand go my playlist i have debugged the code in the eclipse step by step you will understand Okay, but just I'm giving the overview because this code I already uploaded in my YouTube channel. Just I took this a snapshot. Okay, so here this each character we are iterating by using the for each loop. So this is your contents key. It will check in the map this character is available or not. If this character is not available, then it will add. If the character is available, then it will increase the count value here just we are filtering this okay so we having the inside this uh, uh, hash map we have a method call uh, get uh, key set and key set will return the set of character okay the key set will return the set of character and here just we are going to using for loop and we are filtering this and here you will get this output okay please refer my uh, video so that is again another question is what is the difference between set and list okay so list is a sub interface of collection if you want to represent a group of object in a single entity where duplicates are allowed in the list we can store duplicate and insertion order must be must be preserved and we should go for list so internal data structure of the list is working on the index 
okay this is the one thing i did not add this point you guys can add it the internal data structure of the list will work on the index okay set what is the set set is a sub sub interface of collection or sub sub, uh, sub interface of collection if you want to represent a group of object in a, in a single entity where duplicates are not allowed in the set duplicates object are not allowed and insertion order is not preserved because randomly object is creating and one object and it is working on your hashing algorithm right it is not working on the index so internal data structure is your hashing algorithm right so set interface does not contain any new method we have to use only collection interface method okay so this is the main difference between the list and set another question is what is the factory class in selenium so if you know how to create page object model then you will understand what is factory class if you don't know please uh, do revision what is your you know page object model okay so page object model we can create a multiple base so i am using here i'm not going to explain this line of the code my agenda is to explain factory class okay so you have to create a pages by using the find by created a method here we have a factory class this factory class okay this factory class is available in selenium library inside this factory class we having the init elements method init element method will accept two parameter driver and it will accept class type dot okay you can see this class this class so what it will do all the element which is available in this class we are initializing this and it will return your you know same pages that is the use of page factory if you want to explore your more theory please go to the selenium uh, library and you can explore this so that's all these are the important questions and thank you thank you for this and please share and subscribe and press bell icon to get new video not notification before that again i want to show you before closing this uh, video i'm going to show you this is my youtube channel engineers tech hub you can type you will get it here you will get many important interview questions answer tips and here you will get some real time interview question answer as well like many automation test engineer or many manual tester or non tech guy or the people having the gap they are trying to attend the interview but they are not aware of the real time so i have completely share my real time you know experience with your questions and answers so what the challenges you have faced in your current project what is your roles and responsibility what is your day to day activity in your uh, you know uh, your current project or current organization tell me about yourself how to prepare right how to prepare for the client round how to you know managerial round how to improve your coding skill what the challenges you have faced in your automation project so this all the question and answer you will get apart from that you will get here top level of the mnc company interview question and answer so simply i will tell you one thing when you are preparing then what you can do you can take your own interview you can take your own interview how how you can take just you can go here in this video and you can just check this you know the interview questions and you can just see how many questions you are able to give the answer here you will get idea about of that in the top level of the mnc company which type of the question they are going to ask you so that's all in this video guys and thank you so much and see you in the next video bye bye